Good job. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, guys. <laughs> We're doing it as I walk into a, a puddle. Yeah. It's day after Mother's Day, May 9th. This is my first day hunting turkeys awesome. in Oregon. Dude. Cody killed a bird last week. I solo hunt. That. Epic. Got it all on footage. We just got back from our, our trip to hunt Easterns. We were in uh, West Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio. If you guys hadn't seen that, go check it out. I have a whole new respect for hunting Eastern turkeys. Kind of excited to took what we, we learned and go apply it to some of these Rios. May 9th, you can tell by the weather it's snowing. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna try to get in here a little ways. It's kind of like a closed road system and uh, try to find one mid morning. I think we got about three miles or so of this road to hunt. So we're just gonna pick our way through there and hopefully find a biter, but I would prefer it if it would stop snowing. That would, that would probably help us out. So yeah, here we go. Kind of cool, right? Yeah. It's an old country. That's awesome. They should be getting ready to drop calves mm -hmm. anytime. Sounds cool that going through the trees. Yeah. When you come to like the crest of a little hill, a little rise, we always like to try and call before we get to that crest because you never know when there could be a bird literally just right there on the other side. So if you're gonna crest something called before, we've been surprised plenty of times. I'm trying to, I like to pull these these reed layers apart. Cause what happens is they stick in my vest. They get kind of glued together, so just real gently, because you don't want to damage the latex, but just gently get them all separated. You can see how that one's going to come kind of, kind of apart there. What that does is it gets all three reeds working when they're working the call. Think about spring weather here in Oregon. If you don't like it, you just wait five minutes. I'm sweating. Sun came out, it raised at least 10, 10 degrees. Warmer rain jacket and hoodie is a little hot. We're just trying to dissect this thing apart. We might set up here in cold call. It can kind of be anywhere. There's not a lot of turkeys in here, I don't think, based on the sign. We also don't want to bump them. So, set and see if we can get one to fire up. Figure out what they're biting herring today. They're biting pro trolls. Right down there. Love it. Love turkey. <laughs> I got it down like around that bend. Or down where that road takes. It's like a couple birds on the road yeah. bouncing. Mm -hmm. Well, we're in the hunt now. <laughs> I love those little bubble clucks. Hey, we learned, we learned that on our Eastern trip. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of the sunshine and get them killed. Yep. Oh, 
pretty open in here, so we're trying to move. say they are fired up. This is one of those times I wish we had, wish we had leaves. Start scratching. Sure. That happened fast. <laughs> yeah, yes. buddy. I thought they were going to come out from our left, and I they know. just came hard right. Yes. Good job. <laughs> that was awesome. Seven minutes. <laughs> was that what it was? Gig was up. Gig was up. Gig was up. Yeah. Yeah. That was, it? was like. It was th three long beers for sure, and maybe like a super Jake. Yeah. I don't. Maybe it's a super. I don't know, but. That was cool. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs>
Didn't go 20. Didn't go 20. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, it was. That was real close. Nice two year old. Oh, nice spurs. Yeah. Small turkey. Very small turkey. He has a long beard. Yeah. Full fan. <laughs> just a <laughs> just a smaller variety. Yeah. <laughs> but again, we're all used to just killing those easterns, which are monsters. Monsters. Hey, we, you said it about 20 minutes ago. You're like, when we hear one. It's gonna happen. It's fast. gonna happen fast. Yeah. And they were coming. Yeah. Wow. There's more turkeys behind them. Uh huh. Yeah. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> Just had to wait for the snow to quit. <laughs> I knew if we'd find them, it was. Man, and they, they had no problem coming through the thick stuff. No. Well, that darn blowdown. I mean, it might have been our saving grace, though, because they were definitely looking for that hen. Yeah. No. So, soft calling. That last time I called, I was worried. I was like, I'm going to move over here, and all of a sudden they're going to pop, pop over out. here. But then they hammered right there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Mountain bird. Mountain bird. Stuck with the old game plan, a little mid-morning start. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got time to go find another one. Yeah, <laughs> uh, pretty impressed by that choke. Yeah. He did he not move. Fall. No. No. The whole 20 gauge. The old 20 gauge. Just... Wait, we haven't shot a 12 gauge all year. <laughs> Dude, so cool. Hell and yeah. you know, we always wanted to get one kind of in this thicker stuff. Yeah. And I was amazed. I mean, they, when they started coming, they were coming Fast. quick. Real quick. Real quick. Well, that didn't you think that they were almost behind us, mm -hmm. that one gobble? Yeah. But then I was like, the crick's there. I'm like, they didn't sound like that crick. Uh -uh. We got pretty lucky on the weather. Like, yeah. it was windy, snowing. Now it's like calm. Sun popped out. They're fired up. I love it. Eastern, it kills like 40 somethings as long. This thing's like 35. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny bird. Yeah. Nice beard though, and spurs. And yeah, you know. I mean, fast forward, I rolled and I was like, please have spurs, and then he had spurs. Yeah, so, big old thing. And he did it exactly how we wanted him to do it. Just hard charging. I was sitting here, when I moved over here, I was freaking out. I was like, they're gonna come to my left. I'm like, I just did a rookie move. I, oh man. Rad, <laughs> super rad. <laughs> Little mid-morning massacre. Little mid-morning madness. Y'all kill. Y'all kill. <sighs> Old sun can't come up in this flat stuff. No. But we did it right. I mean, move through the creek. Perfect. But, yeah. And we did it right by not going too far. Yeah. Like that's we, what we could have pressed on them and bumped them. Exactly. That's what I was like. We got to set up here. Yeah. It's not ideal, but. Well, and that was a nice thing about having on X. You can see it's like it doesn't really open up anywhere. No. It's pretty sweet, dude. Well, public land action on some Rios. <sighs> Mountain birds. Mountain turkeys. Number one for old Oregon. Yeah. Love it. Well, oh. let's go find you one. Heck yeah. <laughs> Just like that, guys. Takes that one or one group fired up. Took us about an hour and a half to kill one. Pretty awesome. Well, all right, when we got here, it was snowing. It's held off for now, but uh, yeah, pretty stoked to get this bird. That was, a, that was a real treat. So right now we're gonna pack up. We're gonna spend some time trying to, trying to roost some. So tomorrow, fingers crossed, weather's supposed to be better and it's even better Wednesday. So yeah, like I said, I feel pretty pretty fortunate to get this bird today with, with the uh, conditions we had and just not really knowing if they'd be fired up or not. But tell you what, when they started gobbling on their own, I know Cody and I both looked at each other and we smiled. Like, Game on. It's going to happen. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it and go find another one. Now, to enjoy the spoils of our labor. A little catch, clean, cook, little turkey nuggets. Yeah, let's do it. Turkey tacos. Turkey tacos. So, I just literally made, made one incision up the breastbone and then I just pull down. This bird's fresh enough to where it's still like, I made one little slit down the leg. Same thing, you just kind of just work your way down, pulling that skin off. Right along the breastbone, right in here is like the, like we call the tenderloin. And then just follow that down. There's kind of a, like a sack right here. You just try to uh, puncture that sack and then just work your knife all the way down. It literally just pulls right apart. So, do the same thing here. I work my way down this breastbone. 
just flip my knife around. Do the same there. That's that, that tenderloin right there. So we'll just peel that back. Just kind of go along the the bone there and peel back as you go. Again, as long as it's fairly fresh, it really does just kind of pull pull right off. There, just right along that breast, and it didn't puncture into the into the stomach at all. So then I'll just kind of follow this guy down. So I'm gonna pull that off so now. All those feathers are already off the meat. And now I'm just gonna start where it attaches and work my way down. And there's that, that hip, hip joint. I pop that with a knife. I'm just really working my way through there. And Cody, you've got a pretty awesome recipe for these guys. Yeah, slow cooker. Yeah. And then Carnitas. pull it off and then take all your, all your feathers off. But yeah, you threw the slow kicker for a while and said the carnitas were just awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pink shaw, okay. Turkey leg carnitas. All the legs off there. Yeah. Easy as pie. So last week I did a collab with the Essential Craftsman. Some guys here on YouTube from Roseburg. And Nate gave me this pan that they did a collab with, Stagecoach Forge, which uh, he does stuff on social Instagram. You can check him out. But he hand forges everything. Blacksmith, common blacksmith, uh, or new age blacksmith. Anyways, I seasoned this pan uh, several times this week. We're going to fire it up and do the little turkey cooking action in it. But uh, Nate, thank you so much. All right, so I went ahead and cleaned the breasts up with water. A little bit of blood shot there, I'll probably cut that out, but then I started cutting them up in just these little bite-sized chunks, making turkey nuggets. So if you see any like uh, tendons or whatnot, just kind of cut around those, cut those out. They are pretty chewy. But yeah, there's little, little bite-sized pieces. Those are the tenderloins there, I'll probably cut that out. You just two, two eggs there and a little taco pan. seed. Dinner is served. I already had to test a little bit of it. It's awesome. The way that egg kind of almost mm -hmm. serves like a little bit of a batter. Yeah. Taco nuggets. Hmm. Check that out. Buffa Ranch. Yeah. It's happening. That's happening. For sure. And it good. Doing a little buff ranch. A little buff ranch. Yeah. We'll just kind of, kind of, kind of pack it full in there. Dinner is served. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sitting here enjoying the bird from today. Got birds roosted not far from camp. It's snowing in May. I mean, what, what more can you ask for, really? We're gonna wrap this up, hop into the back of the truck, and hopefully get a good night's sleep because we're getting up early. We're gonna sneak in there real early. Yeah. But I'm excited. Doesn't get much better.